People new to RVs and even experienced RVers can often do something they are a little embarrassed to admit. Trip the RV's circuit breaker. Just like in your home, a circuit breaker is put in place to stop an electrical current should there be an excess or overload. This makes sure none of your appliances short circuit, get fried, or even start a fire. How does a circuit breaker get tripped in your RV? There's a couple things that could lead to a circuit breaker being tripped. The first to double check is that you aren't overloading it. Sometimes you may just forget to adjust to the different power sources an RV uses. You may also forget that the appliances in your RV might have different power ratings than those in your home. The tag on each appliance should list their power ratings which can help you determine how many different appliances you can run on one circuit. Each circuit breaker will also have a number printed on them signifying their power ratings. Just like your home, there are traditionally multiple circuit breakers. It is important to label each one according to what appliances they are running. If you can determine that the tripping breaker is not overloaded, then there may be some other underlying issues. The first thing to do before checking inside the breaker itself is to make sure all power to the RV is off. Disconnect your RV from any power source, whether that may be a generator, power pedestal, or even your home. Once all the power to your RV is disconnected, you can start examining the circuit breakers. Is the switch loose and not staying tight to either the on side or off side? If so, then the breaker needs to be replaced. If the switch is tight to either side, the next thing to check would be the wires within the circuit breaker box. If any of them are loose or corroding, they need to be replaced. A more extensive examination requires a multimeter. With the circuit breaker still open, connect the probe to the wire that comes out of the bottom of the breaker. Then you will want to turn the external power source on, the problem breaker on, and whatever appliances are associated with that breaker. If the multimeter reads lower than the circuit breaker capacity, but feels hot to the touch, then the circuit breaker needs to be replaced. If the meter is reading a higher amount than the breaker's capacity, then you are overloading it. When you need to replace the breaker, it is best to go to an RV supplier just to make sure you get the right one. It should be identical to the other breakers inside your RV. If you have any questions about what you can power in your RV with a specific power source, you can ask us or your RV provider. Like, comment, and subscribe to see more videos just like this one. Shoot us an email if there's a topic you'd like to see us cover. Thank you for watching.